Welcome to my channel, The Millie Life. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to click on my little logo right there in that right hand corner. That will notify you when I post a new video. I post motorcycle videos every Tuesday night and exercise videos every Friday. No. I post new motorcycle videos every Wednesday and exercise videos every Friday. Check that out. I just put on my lucky speed shot. <laughs> lucky speed shot. Shorty lovers. All right. These are for 2018 soft tails and above. And they are in burnt bronze. And I absolutely love them. They make the bike feel lighter. I know that's really weird to think about, but they do. I had these stock ones, and those just felt so big and so bulky. And it was also really weird because there's nothing really on my bike that is chrome. Sounds like the nuts and bolts. And so to have chrome levers just seemed really, really kind of out of place. So they match my heat guard, which is freaking awesome. And it is a perfect match. And I really love them. I thought that getting used to grabbing them with just like two fingers and set up like my whole hand would be weird, but not at all. I mean, check it out on your bike if you don't have shorty levers. See which fingers you really, really pull through when you pull your front brake in or you pull your clutch in. It's pretty cool. They also feel really solid. They're quality made. And this is the longest light. So before... I had, you know, just the stock levers. Do you guys know we headed down to Smith Mountain Lake a few weeks back? And we drove down in the dark because we both had clients that afternoon. So we left here around six and then we made our way to Smith Mountain Lake, and it was pitch black when we got there. <laughs> we were on backcountry roads trying to find this driveway, all gravel driveway, at a main house, matched GPS of the addresses on the left, mine said it was on the right. Basically, we're in the home stretch of our trip. We get there, and we past it. So I'm trying to turn around. Worst possible scenario, turn into a gravel driveway that is uphill, it is pitch black, and I got my boat. Luckily, we had just put the crash bars on that day, and so it stopped, you know, the, the engine from hitting and not getting stretched up, but the handlebars didn't have a lever took the front of it because it was really jacked up. It was like the one end of a curly mustache. Yeah, it's not supposed to look like that at all. <laughs> so it is nice to have the new levers on. It feels nice and clean. <laughs> but I wasn't hurt like not getting up with the lever and the scratches on the heat guard for heat shield. So uh, that was scary though. Um, it's in the middle of the night, and so when the bike went down and off, Matt was ahead of me, and there were no lights on the road. It was just pitch black. It was just me in the middle of the wilderness with a bike that just fell, and he was coming back, obviously, but he had to find a safe spot to turn around. Matt got me back on track. Finally found the tiny house. Had a wonderful weekend. Super relaxed. Yeah, these feel really, really good. Shifting feels smooth. Front brake feels good. Insulation took 30 to 45 minutes. 
I will also caveat with this is the second set of levers I've put on. And I also had the help of Matt for first timer. I'd, I'd, I'd allocate a good hour. We had to loosen the clutch cable and get the clutch out. And uh, after that, it was pretty, pretty simple. On the right side with the brake, you did have to loosen. It's in a couple of things. I had to take the light and the mirror off. But again, none of that was really too time intensive or anything super challenging. So overall, I would say that easy to moderate upgrade. Let me know what you think of the new levers in the comments below. I'd love to get your feedback. And yeah, I'm still thinking about what I want to do with the foot pegs, take some levers out. Matt was talking about a site that has um, 12 point bolts. I'm still learning my mechanical terms. I have not done any kind of mechanical work prior to this, so bear with me. But they have like custom color washers and custom colored bolts. So that could be really cool. Let's see what let's see what we come up with. Currently on the way to a client's house, uh, along with personal grading. I have got basketball skills. Two younger athletes, uh, several times over the years. So I work with the uh, brother to sister. We're gonna sign up for basketball this winter. Just working on basic skills, so ball handling, dexterity and grip on the ball, shooting form, dribbling, you know, keeping your eyes up, be able to use that weak side hand. And this ride makes it that much more fun to go out there. I get to ride a motorcycle, get to mostly go on back roads. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, what kind of levers do you have for your bike? You know, do you regret changing them out from the stock? Do you like the shorty levers? I've seen some of the more like skinny, the longer ones. There's all sorts of sorts of ones out there. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what's your go-to and who you shop for. Oh, that's also cool. And there's so many small shops with motorcycle gear and motorcycle parts. So lucky speed shop, what's up? It is so nice out. It is like a fall day, but Beautiful, beautiful weather. Spent about four hours this morning trying to figure out how to compress YouTube videos and get them onto um, my computer. And that's actually probably the next thing I need to invest in is a computer. I've been using maps. It's awesome, but I'll probably time to get my own and have my own hard drive and space to save stuff. But these GoPro videos are massive when you help um, upload them from the and makes sense. I mean, you're looking at an hour's worth of footage at least. It's about four hours trying to figure that. Maybe not four hours. Let's see. It's like, it's like two hours trying to figure that out. And did some other stuff in between. But I was not successful. Figure it out, though. It's Mateo's birthday tomorrow. It's turning three. So I was over at Target earlier. Returning some stuff. I don't know about you, but I had no idea that those magnet blocks that, you know, they have in the daycares. Mateo already has, like, a whole set of them. Let's see, what are you doing? She's going straight. Okay, nobody from this side. This is a tough turn. And then you immediately go into this right-hand turn. Which is, yep, probably pretty backed up. Oh, wow. This guy turn in. Oh, jeez. Did not see that coming. Um, no, no, no. We're not doing it. No. <laughs> Hopefully that moves quick. That's a bummer. <laughs> That's a really hard turn for him to make. I can put Let's see what we got here. That was fun. Not remember what I was talking about. It's nice to have just like, you know, a little wave. Oh, those magnet blocks. That's what I was talking about. So, we 
they had a lot of slugs. We built ramps out of them. We built all sorts of stuff out of them. Um, things got like, let's say, a 30 pack of them. But then I was like, oh, you know, that would be a nice little gift for him. I'll get him a little bit more. Um, and went to Target. There's like a 100 piece one. It's like, oh, awesome. We're going to be like 25 bucks. It's like a hundred and something for the hundred piece. So I ended up getting um, like a 37 piece set. How did it receive? It was like $55. I was like, okay. No, no, no. So I'm going to go back and look at the Amazon and see what they have. Because that is insane to me. They're just little pieces of plastic with magnets in them. But okay. They're extremely popular. I'm also looking for some Legos. I have the new clothes that I was going to target for now. We got them snowboard. We got them some pajamas. Sometimes it's really hit or miss about uh, sleeping in uh, or having a blanket covering him when he sleeps. So I've been keeping him in short sleep pajamas, but then I feel like at night he gets pretty cold. I put the blanket on him sometimes. Not one. <laughs> so, got some long sleep ones. Hopefully, those will be comfortable for him. They're super cute. They're very smooth. I got them at Target. We got little penguins on them. And the other one is, I think I went with the space one. I don't like the way it looks. Baby pajamas, tens and tons of cute stuff. Not their pajamas, not so much. They like go into like the Paw Patrol and all the character pajamas, but for whatever reason, those like look and feel like a lesser quality. That's what the like the baby ones are like. You got nice stuff, good quality, and they look cute, but I don't know. So you have those, and you have the birds and bees ones. And they're definitely cute, but it's not really big into space or spaceships or rockets or anything like that. So I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it fits them too. That's the other thing. I finally learned my lesson of shopping a size above whatever age he is because <clears throat> I'd go shopping and get him, you know, stuff for the fall or on these a couple, like maybe a month or so. <laughs> it's not your turn, lady. It's not two cars at a time, people. But whatever. So. I got him the 5T. He's turning three tomorrow. So I'm thinking that will fit. It's just extremely tall. I'm 5'5. Five five, so I'm sure we can that them. Got him those. Got a little snowboard. So the goal is to, you know, get him out on the slopes this winter. <laughs> See if he likes it. I, I think he's going to love it. He loves anything that goes fast and that he can be independent on. So we bought him that little electric bike, which you guys have probably seen on my Instagram page. Um, if you haven't, head on over there. There's definitely videos of him on your mom, like, riding that electric bike. And we thought that that would last, you know, through, through the age of three, but he's, I mean, definitely mastering that thing already. He loves it. So we are already talking about it. he's like to get the gas dirt bike by the Fourth birthday, but knowing that it's going to be three and a half, that he ends up having one. Ooh, the wind has picked up. Also, I'm riding out with Tom Mark Winsfield in that higher speed for the first time. I finally took it off after our trip to sit that light and jump. Yeah, the trip will last longer just this one that we took. So, we still not eating that. Started making a cake. We made one last year, which is really cool. I'm going to try to replicate or amplify off of last year's birthday cake. So that was really fun. We made the cake and we had all sorts of cars and motorcycles and um, trucks and all of the cake. So this year we're going to put monster trucks in there. That's one of his favorite things. Let's see what we come up with. Thank you guys for tuning in. And again, Submit in the comments or let me know in the comments what is your go-to for, for levers on your bike. Do you like the shorties? Do you like the longer ones? Do you not even mess with it and just keep those stock ones on there? 
uh, let me know. I absolutely love them. Got them from Lucky Speed Shop again. And they're just such a wonderful addition to my bike. And I just love how much more comfortable they are uh, to ride. And, oh, the other thing I forgot is that it's easier to, like, grab my turn signal. Because my whole hand is up around the clutch um, to shift. And so if I need to turn, that's so much more accessible to grab. But anyways, like I was saying... Uh, leave a comment in below what's your go-to lever, what's your go-to motorcycle shop. And if you liked this video and want to stay up to date on when I post, please click on that Millie Life logo in the bottom right-hand corner. All right. And until next time, I'll see you guys. Don't you hate when you go into neutral at a light and then it changes? <laughs> Holy construction. Lots of traffic. Welcome to Northern Virginia. Okay. Thought a little dicey. <laughs> oh, I'm still learning here.